there you go. Here we are again, believe it or not. Another session of Jam Jar. Welcome, everyone. I hope you've got your ears on. Okay. And that's looking good, too. So we do our favourite song, and what is it? Of course, Jam Jar, Jam Jar. Everyone still going Jam Jar. Jam Jar, Jam Jar, wherever you are. Baby, yeah. <laughs> Jam jar, jam jar Just look out who you are Cause that's what matters, yeah Everybody talking about jam jar Jam jar, oh, jam jar Yeah, spread it around Oh yeah, welcome everyone Great to have you coming here today There was a version of jam jar Believe it or not, with uh, a five-stringed classical guitar. Yeah, but it's all good. So we just do a little bit of business. We've got a special guest, and I won't introduce him quite yet. Um, great to have you on board today if you're with us. Um, I think uh, since last time, well, the weather's actually on the improve. Nice bit of rain yesterday um, and the day before, so the farmers are all rubbing their hands in glee, I guess. Um but yeah, it's so good to see you, uh, if I could see you, and I know that you can see me, but that's uh, that's what Jam Jar is all about. Okay, so yeah, what's happening in um, the Wairarapa at the moment, musically speaking, things are starting to pick up a bit, yeah? Um, of course, tomorrow night we've got um, the Gladstone Pub, that's the once a month, and we're getting a few newbie people turn up. Uh, Ian from uh, Woodville. Uh, he um, he's an amazing guitarist and songwriter. Him and his wife are going to turn up tonight. Um, Bob and Kate, hopefully at least Bob Cooper Grundy, he'll be there. And um, of course, all your other artists. A lot of um, people that have been um, playing. A lot of people that are just starting out with their talent. But um, it's good to have them on board. The the gig gives them a vehicle to be able to actually um, polish their, their act up a bit and get used to playing in front of people. Um, yeah, uh, Bolters on Sunday If you're listening, if you catch this program I'll be at Bolters on Sunday Along with uh, hopefully Roddy playing on bass Roddy Lawrence uh, That's good And um, yeah, so there's been a lot of things happening uh, uh, Musically wise uh, We had the block party that went down very, very well um, We had a lot of um, people that turned up for that and played um, Artists that I even haven't even heard before So that was really great and, um, yeah, so I think I might introduce you to our special guest artist. Yeah, mate. Uh, Quinn. Good Let morning. me see if we can see you. Hey, Quinn, nice oh, to see you, buddy. Good, thank you. Yeah, uh, move it on that microphone a bit, mate, just a little sure. bit. That'll get you, I think. Let me have a look where you are. We haven't got you on board yet, but we will. It'll come to you. Okay. Um, yeah, Quinn yeah. Lockyer. Hi, how are you yeah, this morning? Um, great to see you, mate. Thank good you very much for you. coming in at such short sure. notice. Too. Sure, yep. Yeah. That was pretty. pretty <laughs> that was pretty short notice, but we we can uh, adjust to that. So, we can so we absolutely, can. mate. Quite a um, as you know, I try and get musicians yeah. and poets and anyone who's in the mm. creative field, mm. because as you know, the creation and the whole creative thing has such a, such an important role absolutely. in uplifting the sad and desponding heart. Absolutely, you know, yes, and yes, um, yes. boy, music's such a vehicle, and it can really, uh, it can really get us, lift us up when we're indeed, and indeed. we certainly need it at the moment. That's for real. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but anyway, so Quinn, great to have you on the program, as I said. Wonderful, yeah. Um, yeah. and we're going to find out a little bit about Quinn as we go through, mm, mm. and um, what he's up to and what he's not up to, <laughs> and um, well, but I'd uh, like to be up to. <laughs> if I can give you a little bit of a preamble, um. Well, I've known Quinn for what quite a while now. Twenty years, a good now. twenty years, yeah, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Quinn teaches yeah. music in schools, mm. um, and Quinn probably needs to talk up a little bit on the closer to your microphone. You pick yeah. it up a bit. Yep, yep. Here yeah. I am. Yes, yeah, the one you're <laughs> onto it now. You can see it. Yeah, um, That's good. yeah. Um, teaching in schools, still yes, music. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, at two right. Uh, yeah, we've got the intermediate range there uh and adults uh, 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 privately so, right right uh, also right. uh teaching at literacy out roa yep. uh for anyone who wants to come for lessons yeah uh at uh 
uh, adults that is yeah yeah so that that's just started out stefan yeah started last friday uh literacy great but, stuff. Uh, so, which is great like as you say that that's a language-based um tuition place yep. for people wanting to get get around their english a little better yeah but yep. uh as you said about music uh it's a language yeah, absolutely, mate. So there I am yeah. doing doing musical language. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, yeah, you're right. That's yeah. uh, that's the one language that doesn't require. Well, it has spoken word, of course, but you know, if any, mm. but um, you know, the music is such a universal language, as you say. That, that yes, you know, it, it, it crosses yeah. the cultures, crosses the cultures uh, and, and everything, and yeah. uh, different languages and area. And I, you know, saw that on on Friday. We we have uh, people from uh, all over the world coming to brush up on their English and hey they all want to have a go on the guitar or the ukulele for that matter good mate that's mm. good so, well look tell exciting. us a bit about yourself Quinn where yeah. are you a, are you a wire rapper boy are you from yeah the- well I, I was brought up in the wire rapper so wonderful place I think to bring up children wonderful place <laughs> great memories uh, we did move to the the city the Auckland city uh, as a family of four uh, and I spent my teenage years and early adult years uh, in Howick. Howick, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. which is East, uh, East Auckland. Mm-hmm. And that's where I got involved a lot in, uh, you know, some bands and, yep. and, and, and playing and enjoying. Yep. Enjoying playing uh, for weddings and, and, mm-hmm. and those kinds of things. Yeah, yeah. Which, which was the start of... Uh, my walk with the guitar yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. there it is this is the beginning yeah. of it all once it's once yeah. it's got you you don't um yeah it's pretty well you're pretty well a lifelong thing it's with you isn't it it doesn't um yeah. so well it's enough of that you just sort of you know it's no. a, you know uh, it becomes part yeah. of absolutely of, yeah um really did you awesome. have any formal training at all when, uh, when i was younger uh, i had some classical guitar that's where i started yeah with mum giving me lesson uh you know taking me to lessons i mean right so that that went through to grade five uh mm-hmm. you know doing classical where you know the, I, when i first saw an electric guitar there was an appeal about <laughs> what, what is this <laughs> what is this <laughs> you plug yeah. it in ah i see yeah 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 absolutely so, um so the electric um that 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 was a quite appealing, uh, a different genre, you know, yeah. on the electric issue. Oh, absolutely. Know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, so, I can blues. know that the, a lot of my students are, are breaking their necks to get onto an electric because mm. I've been holding them back to learn so mm. your chords on the acoustic mm. and get a good feel for rhythms and stuff. And yeah. as we get into lead patterns and scales and stuff, then you can start yeah. maybe thinking about it. So. so yeah, yeah. That, so there's a couple of them this Christmas. I think they're going to be um, oh, good. getting their first electric guitar. So that'll be good. They'll be next yeah. year. They'll be yeah. over the moon. You know. Oh, that will be. That yeah. will be. Stiff so, um, yeah. and um, as like you, I'm still teaching in the schools. I do about mm. I do about twelve to fifteen hours a week. That's about. And I'll cut right back now. So. Because I yeah. know you were doing... Oh, I was doing horrendous hours at yeah, one stage. a lot. Yeah. I don't know how but, um, you did that. And playing, <laughs> and playing in the weekend. You were a busy well. man. Oh, well, that's true. Full-time musician. Yeah, you were just trying to pull it back. Mm. Yeah, okay. So you played yeah. in groups in the Howick and... and, and yeah, then... You were doing a lot of... Yeah. Then I... This is this is the cr- the crunch for me, I would I would think. Uh, I, I had been in a band called Apparition, which yeah. was pretty hard yeah. rock. yeah. Heavy actually, yeah, yeah, uh, and I was the bass bass player, mm-hmm. so that kind of went or went for a while. But that was with my brother, and the 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 point of my story was he 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 was the songwriter, right, so to speak, yeah, and yeah. Uh, he he got sick and and to, to to get to the point he he passed away, which was was a bit sad at mm. a younger age. Oh, it was, oh. uh, yeah, it was twenty three, yeah. and. Yeah. But I, I found that I started to write songs after that. Right, right. So it, you could call that <clears throat> a bit of divine intervention or something yeah. there because, yeah. you know, prior to that I couldn't yeah. write right. anything. Yeah. And so I started coming out with some some tunes. Yeah, yeah. And that went uh, 
down the well New Year. I think uh, the, they always have a bit of a New Year's bang at um, down the east coast from Tauranga through to uh, the Wanga uh, Wanga Parawa up there yeah. around that area is all, all all there. Wanga Mata, one of the, one of the biggest gigs that we did was the New Year at Wanga Mata. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, but uh, I got involved uh, as as a result of my brother's passing. I got involved in the um, Howick Church yep. scene there, okay. and yeah. it, it rocked me, you know, because yeah. uh, my idea of what church was was pretty sort of square. Yeah, yeah. Where whereas the the build, place I went to was is this church, bro? Yeah, <laughs> there's the pastor. He's got long hair and he's playing rock guitar and and the band's <laughs> singing, you know, and it's yeah. a Sunday night. This is cool. So yeah. that got me. That, yeah. yeah, yeah, I loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, this has been some you know. big. Um, and 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 I think you do tend to look <clears throat> for some spiritual sustenance when you go through a thing like that. You're looking for something to believe in because it's yeah, it's uh, can be so. Pretty hard. I guess hard and shocking to the that you lose someone so close, and you think, well, what's it all about? Well, you know, this is you're talking about my brother. He's 26, was he? 23. 23. Well, yeah. even you know. Yeah. So you 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 start reaching out and looking for things to be able to give life some meaning, eh? Yeah, because uh, we've got an epidemic called depression. Yeah. And, uh, that's what yeah. got my brother. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I've had a problem with it too. Yeah, I think you'd be one. <laughs> You wouldn't be alone there, Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of, but you know, a lot of. Um, <laughs> so, put it, giving out is a great way of taking your eyes off yourself. Yes, and, and, yep. and you're helping out others. So, that's the journey that I've been on. Um, more so is giving out. Absolutely. Without, yeah, wanting anything back in return. Yeah. Just you know. well, you, you've certainly brought a mm. bit of name for yourself because whenever anyone talks about you, know, it's always. Saying that, okay. they, you know, the students and stuff, they will enjoy what you're doing, so keep I doing what to, you're doing. Try to keep it happy. Yeah, try and keep it yeah. happy. Yeah. It's not meant to be uh, hard, <laughs> hard work, you know. And um, That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So you started writing uh, material yourself lately, yeah. and of course, uh, some solo, some, you've got some CDs you've done. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can go onto Quinn Lockyer Music and you'll see some uploads there on okay. YouTube. Or uh, the local music shop. Yeah, I noticed there's some CDs in there for sale. There's That's some, good. yeah. There's yeah. a few of the odd ones trickling out. There's, yeah. there's a few there. There's yeah, four good. of four CDs that I've done, uh, and yeah. they've been very exciting, I have to say. The least. It's, it's a good feeling when you do when you accomplish it and when you get them done. Eh? I mean, it's a, it's awesome, like isn't it? Especially the ideas become reality and they become something that you can hold in your hand. Yeah. So well, it's here it's it is. This is what I've done. And yeah. you know, you might not necessarily like all the tracks, but there's some tracks I really like. And well, that's great, you know. So there might be three yeah. out of thirty that that's that, right. that are that's, good, you know. That's true. Yeah. Well, I think we better play one of those tracks now, mate. Um, sure, sure, Stephen. And the name of the track from memory is, uh, "You've Got to Have Faith." Well, you do. You've got to have faith, eh? <laughs> well, tell, well, just tell us a little bit about it before I play it, and then I'll definitely play both yes. that track anyway. Yes, let's hope you get the right track. Well, hopefully, uh, With yeah. technology these days, it's brought this recording into the bedroom a little bit more and yeah. uh, lowered the fees a bit, so yeah, yeah. we were able to do a bit more recording. Yeah. But uh, this song came as a result of my uh, brother uh, passing, yeah. and... Uh, you know, what do we get? A short life, I thought. It's a pretty short one. As you you know, the years aren't aren't slowing down there fast. They seem to be speeding up. So yeah, yeah. I th there must be something more to life. Yeah. Than, uh, um, perhaps there's an intelligent designer up there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's up to the audience, I suppose, to yeah. Um, yeah, work it out themselves. Yeah. But the song came as a result of that. Yeah. And having faith in something bigger than me, uh, that helped me with my grieving. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So let's do those tracks. Um, we're going to do that. Right now, you gotta have faith. You gotta. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's coming right. right up. Here we go. <laughs> We're gonna do that. You We're gotta. gonna do this. You gotta have faith to believe in the one that you can see. It's really not that hard. Don't doubt, just believe. Open up your heart now, ask and you'll receive. You gotta have faith, you gotta have faith, you gotta have faith. In the things that you can't see You gotta have faith to believe In Adam and in Eve You gotta have 
have faith to believe God created you and me You gotta have faith, you gotta have faith, you gotta have faith Yeah, shout out from the treetops Jesus Christ is Lord All of creation created by His Word Don't be left behind when now is the time But you gotta have faith, you gotta have faith, you gotta have faith You gotta have it. Hey? You gotta have it. Faith in something. Great number, mate. Um, you gotta have faith. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and, uh, it's an interesting yeah. concept. Well, I've had some interesting talks with people have about you? faith. Oh, yeah. Mm. Because they want to, they said you can't see it, you can't touch it. No, it's but you like know, the it's wind. for real. When it works, you think, oh, whoa, what happened there? Yeah, it's <laughs> like know? the wind. Yeah, mate. You know, you can it's, see what it's doing. Yeah, yeah. But you can't see it. Yeah, it's it having to something to believe in. Um, yeah. yeah, so. Um, yeah, so that's obviously quite an important um, journey for you to take once you go, you know, obviously yes. um, the yeah. people that know you know that you're pretty um, committed. Passionate um, about you, my faith. About your faith, yeah, yes. which, is, yes. which is good. Um, yes. And, um, and, and it also spreads and uh, flows into what you do in general life and the way yeah. you treat people and all that sort of stuff. Respect. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and, yeah. and, and love for your fellow man. Absolutely. And, uh, absolutely. you know. Yeah. That, um, now I was going to talk about a bit about. I want to just get sort of some ideas. What I'd try and do is get get and find out what people are thinking about what's happening today. So as far as music goes today, we have changed a lot since the say you and I mm. when we would be playing and back in the eighties, um, eighties. Yeah, and now mm. there's a whole different genre coming through. I mean, there's some good stuff, but there's a lot of yeah. stuff I feel. For me, you know, it's not my. I know it's. I would say um, it's music, but it's not the music I'd probably sit down and listen to. It's more as far as more techno, uh, more techno, a lot more technical, yeah. a lot more. Um, what when I can put sort it? Of contrived. It's almost contrived. A lot of it, you know. Machine, um, yeah, machine made. Machine made. Yeah. Opposed to yeah, um, this, where the rather yeah. a guy just sitting down and and and, and entertaining with a, a very nice maybe yeah. chord pattern, nice guitar chords, yeah. and a good voice. 
Yeah, you know, and, um, and you get some people who know it's very cool. little about music get told on, and yeah. goes a bit of um, you know, the eh, 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 and umpa umpa do da ba, you know, yeah, 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 and yeah. then Let's and they go, dancing. wow, that's great, he's so musical. Well, yeah. no, yeah. yeah, in my opinion, no, he's not. Um, it's techno, technically, yeah, yeah he's got it down, but you it's, know, uh, so and it's it's I guess it's personal taste as well. Absolutely, you know. Yeah. So I'm liking some of my kids, for instance. Um, mm. They really like that guy. Uh, now, what's his name? Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Right. I was thinking of this this morning. You know, yeah. and ben, ben Harper and Ben uh, Harper and guys like that. That's talent. Yeah, it's talent. He's yeah. very talented songwriter. Yeah, Ed yeah. Sheeran writes some beautiful stuff. Yeah, you know, really yeah. nice, gifted. sentiment, gifted guy. Yeah, and apparently his um, yeah. way he reacts with. Um, his audience and people around him, mm. uh, a lot of people have come back and said he's very mm. compassionate, very loving sort of guy. That's nice. Which yeah. is good to nice hear, to hear you know? isn't it? Yeah. Because you know, that's, and, then, and that that comes out in your music generally, you know. Yeah. Doesn't it? We don't need arrogance. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> and that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, I was funny thinking about that this morning uh, about. Solo artists, yep. you know, and the ones that uh, have left a mark on, on, on our music history, and uh, there's countless uh, solo artists. I think a lot of good music, you probably agree with me, uh, especially through the 80s and 90s, has come out of the UK. Mm-hmm. There, I, I always <laughs> thought, wouldn't it be greater to have been living in the UK oh, yeah. and seen them live, you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, was Tears magic. for Fears, was or, magic, hey? you know, uh-huh. uh, Ice House, I think that was an Australian. Yeah. And, but you know, the the list goes on. Oh, Pink Floyd and so on and so it on. Was and so on. Incredibly innovative period of, of uh, music, you know. You too. And the Beatles yeah. had a lot to do with that earlier back. You know, Beatles started it off really. Well, well I reckon a English. bit of Coldplay's bit come of, from yeah. the. You can hear yeah, a bit of Beatles in, in some of the Coldplay. You can hear the Beatles. In you, know. the, you can. Yeah. The influence. Yeah. Um, group, um, groups right. like Beatles, of course, Stones. Mm. Yeah, I wasn't. So they were good, but um, I liked the Beatles. Mm. Yardbird, the Kinks. I love the Kinks. Yeah, they were a right. great group. Yeah. Ray Davies, what an amazing. Yeah. And all those. And then yeah. you got all those solo artists that coming through yeah. that were doing the piece where they were involved with the change and what was happening in the world with, with your Dylans and, and, yes. and, and all Reflecting that. Reflecting the world. And Donovan and stuff like that. Yes. All that sort of stuff. Beautiful melodies, mm. nice chords, you know, and it was great. It was a great, a good era, what I call. Mm. Um, a happy, peaceful, listening, nice sort of easygoing era. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, they, uh, with meaning too. Um, we had, you know, definitely a lot of. Um, of course, Dylan was the mouthpiece really for what was going on at the time. He was too phenomenal. Right. What he, his songs yeah. were just so on the on yeah. the knocker, bang on. Yes. Oof. And but, and I was thinking about the, what was happening in with you two with the. Uh, you know the, the yeah. wars going on. Absolutely, it, yeah. you know, and they had a Sunday bloody Sunday. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know, they did. That was so. True, how was the concert? True thing. Oh, the concert. Huh? Was, was, they started with Sunday <laughs> bloody Sunday, and you couldn't sit down. Yeah, Goodness you me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we were all standing on yeah. our chairs. Yeah, uh, yeah. One couldn't contain oneself. It was. Uh, it started with a bang. Put it that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And went on with uh, New Year's. Uh, New Year's Day is that one when they sing New yeah, Year's yeah. Day? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you can go online and find out what they they played, yeah. but uh, it was it was. A, it so was it lived up concept. to your expectations. Better, 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 I think. better even. Yeah. yeah. Well, live any I mean, yeah. you know, they got the, the yeah. technology now to produce live sound like that is as good as recorded sound. You just it's yeah. phenomenal. Uh, but but, uh, but a lot of, a lot more decibels, of course. Uh, um, it was very loud. Yeah, it would be loud. You, w- you but wouldn't want it. Yeah, but you're, you're in amongst it, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you, oh, great. You feel part of it. And uh, One Tree Hill, of course. Um, uh, eh? Well, you know, I, I've been to a lot of concerts, yeah. Stefan, uh, and I've never had one that's put a tear <laughs> yeah. in my eye. Uh, but yeah. when, when when they, you know, did One Tree Hill. Yeah, yeah, well, it's a And, mate, it's, uh, and the connection the with New Zealand, of course, and the meaning behind it, eh? Yeah, you yeah, know, that's that's. Really, I think the know, audience. What an amazing group, you know. It's just incredible. Eh? Yeah, not it's, yeah. You know, not so um, you know, there, there are those mega mega groups who have lasted. There's new groups coming through all the time, different artists, mm. but it's a whole different genre now. And the way that um, I'm, I've been, and I get yeah. kids come out to me say, "Can you play something rather?" You know, uh, it's some unusual group or right. And uh, no, I look at it on, and it's 
90 percent of it's pretty contrived and very no guitar uh, very, no guitar mm. a lot of keyboard and sort of uh, vocal mm. um double up vocals and mm. fa- fairly sort of what i call gimmicky sort of stuff in it i'd a agree of, you know quite yeah. gimmicky you know mm. and um yeah. so you're looking for something to to hold on to or try to appreciate with a bit of excellence or mm. give it a little bit of um saying you know, what's the word i'm looking for that that Spice. you can see that this is um, I've got a strong melody, or the mm. tune's moving me, so I want to. Yeah, but um, it, it could be it could is. be a cycle. It could be going a cycle. There are artists out there that are definitely yeah. still doing it, and I'm um, yes. still playing. And there's yeah. some amazing musicians coming through, and my kids are showing that they just they are love it, eh? fast learners, very fast learners. And you um, well, you've got and, the internet uh, now, so. They don't forget, you know, especially yeah. when you make a mistake. They'll say, Mr. Brown, you didn't show me. Like, well, <laughs> when you showed me the other week, it was like this. I said, oh, you're right. Thank you very much. How, uh, how, <laughs> yeah. How, how are you finding the, with the internet now, you know? Yeah, with, well, they, with, you know. The, the main thing that gets me, just getting on that, we'll do this. But actually, we'll talk about this for a minute because yeah, a lot of the kids are onto the internet and they're doing, they're downloading stuff and a lot of it's not that. Some of it's almost there mm-hmm. and they get into that thing where they do tab of course yes and tab yes. can really um because they, they learn the notes so they've got no idea of There's the feel or how no timing go or no timing in tab you see feel, no. so they come up and they it's play easy. this piece of music and got no idea what it is and they said oh it's such and such mm. so it didn't sound anything like it you know? <laughs> yeah <laughs> so so um I, I like to try and teach them to read Motes and the first five frets, so they can recognise notes and play it out, yeah. and recognise timing to count it yes, out. Yes. Whether they're playing on top of the beat or behind it as an off beat, and yeah. and, and and two and all that stuff. Yeah. So they recognise mm. how to actually put the feel with the notes, and if it's going, you know, da da ba do da 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 ba do da da da, or is it going ba da ba da ba da ba? Yeah. yeah. So, so three fours, yeah, six eight. Exactly. Yeah. So you yeah. know, they learn yeah. those things because I think they're really important. Yeah. Later on, I said, if you want to use tab, it can be quite useful. Uh, yeah, if you want to know how, be. if you know the song and you want to know exactly how the solo goes, mm. then you can tab it and mm. you can play it. It's not mm. a problem. But yep. you need to go and know how the song goes first. You, you know need what I mean? to know the melody. Here's the one. The yeah. melody. The yeah. melody and the, and that, the flow of it. That, that's right. Anyway, enough of that. Um, yeah. But, yeah, they're pretty good. Generally, the kids are pretty amazing. Oh, it's, uh, it's quite rewarding. Yeah, I, I find they're around. When you see someone that, that's digging into their guitar and practicing, and within yeah. six months, woohoo! Absolutely, you know, no. that's they, rewarding. They just love it, eh? Mm. Um, it's good, all right. Well, I might um, get you to play a, a bit, um, maybe on the guitar, you're a live track for the audience. That would which be nice. Be great. You can yes. choose whatever piece. Well, oh, it's up to you, but um, preferably be something original would be original, good. Original, yeah, yeah. Could, that'd be nice. That's good. Um, you can sing if yeah. you want, or whatever you want, mate. It's up to you. So, what do you got for us? Well, I could do, I could do Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, that's, that's <laughs> so what have we got? We got got to have faith with a bit of Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Well, you, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So another original one. Holy Spirit, you've come. Oh yeah. In the name of God's Son. Yeah. Holy Spirit, you've come to us. Yeah. Holy Spirit, you've come like a wind that won't cease. Holy Spirit, you've come to us. So we sing hallelujah, hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah, hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you've come to do the work of God's Son, bringing life and love to us. Holy Spirit, we love you, we simply adore you. Holy Spirit, you've come to us. So we sing, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We sing, Come on. Hallelujah, we sing. Hallelujah, we sing. Hallelujah, we sing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Stefan. <laughs> hey, backing back.
Okay. <laughs> well done, mate. <laughs> Great stuff. <laughs> it's a bit of fun in there. Yeah, well, you yeah. know, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, get the people warm the old heart up and sing, get right. some singing. It's Probably great. Um, yeah, so at the moment you're, do, um, you're doing schools. How many, what, where are we doing? You're doing the, yeah. you mentioned before, you're working with the language yes. Um, yes. outfit. Tell me a little bit about that. How yes. did you get into that? Well, my wife, uh, she lived in Uruguay and uh, learned yeah. this, the culture and speaks the Span Spanish very well. Wow. And so she's also a uh, qualified school teacher. So yeah. she uh, goes and teaches the yep. English. Yep. Or uh, we've got people coming in from all over the place, you know, from yeah. uh, to, to work in the in the Wairarapa. And, you know, they just need a bit of help. With their English right. and uh, their numeracy and literacy. And the door opening, of course, music is a language. Mm. Uh, and they just they just love it. Um, mm. Like I've just started there. And it, it just opens the door to, hey, New Zealand is a, is a multicultural. Oh, uh, and, yeah. you know, if you want to grab this guitar and play around the campfire, <laughs> come and learn three chords and you can, yeah. you know, you can do that. Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're still doing schools as well. How, how many schools are you doing? Well, I'm at the uh, Ponatahi in, in Carterton. Yeah. Uh, and we're doing notes there, notation. A little bit of resistance to learning notation. Oh, is that right? Because tab mm. is easier. Well, tab is easier, of course. But but then, mm. yeah, we've discussed it's, it earlier. Um, it's yeah, it's the it's the easy it's, way out. Unfortunately, I said. You haven't got melody. You can't look at the melody line. Yeah, absolutely. Line. Yeah, can't see how it. Uh, so, and the flow of the way it works. Um, yeah, I, I've had yeah. exactly the same problem with notation with uh, tab and stuff, and uh, but they they're getting onto it. Yeah. Slowly and um, melody. It, it's slowly working, and they can recognise the notes uh, mm. and you know the treble. It's all in treble clef, so they don't have to worry That's about right. bass clef. So right. it's all in treble clef. So That's you know, right. as long as you. Uh, uh, with the notes and they're pretty yeah. they're pretty keen on picking it up it's good isn't it yeah if it's very that. good um it means also yeah. you can go to a piano and pick out the notes of the tune this is how the tune goes listen to this yes yes this is the F, exactly the, yeah, yeah right hand um yeah uh and it, as i said the melody line is there right there yeah, there's absolutely. the notation and and a lot of it's uh chords broken yeah. down isn't mm. it oh yeah Mm. So yes, yeah. your chords and behind that notation. It's interesting because yeah. I was talking with a guy. Um, I'm teaching this. He's actually um, a doctor at the medical centre. I won't mention his name because he might not. Because <laughs> he plays saxophone. But, no, he plays guitar. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is Someone else. I'm but this is um, he's a great, great guy, and he's learning. Oh, yeah. We were talking about how I should explain to him about how certain groups and certain um, eras use certain chord structures. Or oh. chords, even in certain chord patterns, mm. um, that were very, very per se of them. You know, as soon as you heard them, you think, "Oh, it's got to be Chicken, certain." Uh, like mm. bread were very, and then were the major sevenths and all the, that sort of stuff. You know, mm. Mm. Uh, and um, and then you've got groups that would uh, use um, uh, the the patterns they use, like uh, Cretans Clever and Revival. If you hear their their chord patterns and the way they do their rhythms. 60% of their songs are all based all around the same rhythm. Mm. And it works, you know. Mm. Just mm. about a year ago. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. You know, and then, then yeah. I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? There's another one. There's yeah. a whole heap of things. Just, just loads. You know, yeah. loads yeah. of stuff. So as soon as you hear it, yeah, it's got to be Credence. Yeah. I mean, there's a few others that they did, of course. And, they, and a lot of those groups, um, early groups, had certain little key things they did mm. Dylan for instance changed a lot of his instead of playing C he'd play C plus 9 all the time mm, he played the same bit of flavor yeah there. flavor tin you knew yeah. exactly and, and Donovan yeah. started doing it and then everyone was doing the C <laughs> and then when of course yeah. then the monkeys came along they did I'm a believer yeah. and they did that um, G to the C plus 9 ding 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and kids said oh but it's C I said oh, well in actual fact you'll find if you watch them playing they're playing C plus 9, nine. And, all the sus fours, all the sus fours, you know, two, again. Sus twos. Yeah, so, well, very interesting. But um, and, and it's, it's good to sort of study music and then that way mm. how it's actually grown and how yeah. the patterns. Um, from no, the blues, I, did you start from their one four five progression? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. jazz comes. And jazz along. came on top of that. Yeah, yeah and exactly. Then you have a two. Yeah. Uh, five one six. That's or right. Yeah. Mm. So. Yeah. yeah, and the other thing, of course, is um, once you get in a bit better, as I'm telling the kids, 
They said, well, I've learnt the chords now. I said, well, there's a few other chords that go with it. Because <laughs> uh, yes. the, the actual chord A, there's, there's, there's about 10 different type of versions, or not only are there mm. what they call uh, altered chords, as you altered, know, yeah. or, or they call they have chords that, um, that are... Um, you can have other chords going over the top of it as well, you know, like yeah, changing slight sort of, um, you know, mm, mm, mm. changing the pattern. So they're getting yeah. used to that, which is good, um, and it's realising that, you know, they've got to sort of look slightly beyond what is they see in front of their eyes. Um, well, that, that, the tri yeah. normal triad or the one, four, five, six type thing yeah. the, with the key triads, they can see that easy. Yeah. With the six being the uh, n note being the name of the minor, the relative and minor, relative minor. And so they're six. getting all onto that, which is that's important. Good. And that's the triangle. Yeah, that's the triangle yeah. one they call it. Yeah, yeah, that's the. And if you extend that, I don't know whether you do that at all. Right. Um, you can extend the triangle out, out, yeah. and out, and out, and take yeah. the subdominant. Or the, the dominant fourth. fifth, or the fourth, yeah. and then make that the tonic, and then go out again, out further again. down, yeah. and out it goes. And out. And oh, it's so quite amazing, isn't it? How yeah. music is formed. You know. Well, very mathematical, of course, as yeah, well. It's very so mathematical. you know, but um, there's a yeah. there's a good balance. I've told the kids between yeah. that that component of um, ex exactness and and mm. and also in a feeling of what. Sounds good as far as a creative feeling goes. And what does that you know? Yeah. Um, when you hear certain chords played together. Yes. Like I was trying to explain to them, I play a piece in all the major chords, then I play the same piece and I put it into a minor. Ah. Okay, and they can see straight away how it feels. Yeah. And oh, it feels really sad, Mr. Brown, you know, yeah. and all that stuff. So, I was just you know, teaching that yesterday, the yeah. happy and the sad. Yeah. The, uh, it's just a, a one little semitone difference. Yeah, that's right. Between Flat the third, third and your way you go. And yeah. they think, what's going on here? So, Very important. Now, is, that's why it's a language, you know. Yeah. That's and I why. call the octave an octopus because yeah. an octopus is well, a I've got legs. a song called Oliver the Octopus. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. all about the eight notes. Eight notes. And he, and he, and he, and he, and he, he plays the xylophone. <laughs> I haven't heard that one. <laughs> heard That's that one. good, no. I should play it to you, mate. But, but uh, anyway. Yeah. Um, You've got to I'm make it accessible to their, and, to their uh, thinking. I, I don't know what I can do on this because I've got one string missing. Well, I might be able to do it. Oh. Well, these are the words, but you can hear what it goes. It goes, Ollie the octopus got married one day. To a cute little octopus, she was called Ellie May, or Ollie May, as they say the call. When he danced with her, he spun her around like an octopus. He shuffled with an eight-beat sound. Ollie the octopus, he's the one. He's the greatest little octopus under the sun. He's a perfect octave, all on his own. He's just great. For playing the xylophone. <laughs> then I'd have a kid on the xylophone going blink, uh, blink, 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 yeah. blink, 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 yeah. blink, 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 blink. Yeah, stuff like that. See, but you know, um, starting young. Yeah, good. yeah. So they start realising yeah. um, how it works. You know yeah. how the how those yeah. things um, yeah. will work. And um, well, music, good. they'll find that um, if they're trying to remember stuff, they put the uh, uh, melody to it and some lyrics. Mm. They remember it. They Wonderful. Know. You know, yeah, I'm having trouble with that lately. It's like elephant, you know. Elephants <laughs> yeah. always, well, elephants always develop great big ears. You know, yes. around, you know. <laughs> yeah, and they sing the elephants always develop great big ears. Where they go, it's yeah. great stuff. And yeah. um, and because I, I like to think they're all when they're still they're at that age, they're still in the valley of wonderment. You see, mm. they're not. They haven't been influenced too much by all the horrible stuff that's going on out there. Yeah, so they can yeah. still think a little bit outside the square, and it's a little bit wacky, but it's good. Yes. And they can still take on concepts, you know, and yes. you can use... I mean, I've written songs to illustrate certain things with the music, and we've got songs about turtles and frogs, mm. you know. Because yeah. they can relate <laughs> to them. relate to them, everything. That's right. Yeah. It's the way they do it. So, yeah. I know, okay, so I might get you... Um, I might play this other song of yours that you've got down there, which, have we got it on here? Yes. No, we've already played that. We can't play that. Yeah, but I can that. play, uh, yes, I can play the one I've got here. Mm. So I'll play that. Now, this song here I've written, uh, and it's called Sometimes, basically. It's pretty selfish. It, um, it just talks about the fact when you 
take the time to be quiet and listen to what's going on around you. Mm. And I liken it to looking into a fire and seeing your life pass by mm. and then this thing. So it's, it's about that. And it also talks about um, um, a little bit about my faith as well, a little bit towards the end. Mm. And um, But, yeah, it, uh, it's called Sometimes. Wonderful. So have a listen to this one. Listen. We'll oh. play that one here. Good. Okay. So here we go. So we push, go like that, and go like that. Sometimes I sit by the fire, watching my life in the fire. Blind into sight, turning wrong into right with just a stick. And all the while, I can see a smile, even though you're beyond the mind. And I won't be long, for I'm by your side. Sometimes I think of you Sometimes I walk by the sea Of you, thank God you're there. And all the while, I can see you smile, even though you're beyond the mile. And it won't be long, for I'm by your side sometimes. I think of you Sometimes I pray in the night Help me but all the I cry the light in my dismay and all the while I can see you smile even though you be on the mile and it won't be long for I'm by your side sometimes Think of you Of you 
And all the while I can see you smile Even though you be under mine And it won't be long For I'm by your side Sometimes I think of you Just like that. <laughs> just peaceful. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, that was written a while ago, and I just uh, it was good. I haven't got a, um, any of the recording gear. It was just um, a little. I can't even think of whether it was my test cam or what. Which is something. Mm. Pretty, somebody's put a microphone up and put a bit of echo, put it through an amp. So there's a bit of vocal echo. You can just hear a little bit of it. Sounds good. And um, recorded it live. Oh, live. So. Just like that. Yeah. Off the cuff. Hey, well, um, listeners, I hope you're having um, a great day out there today. We're yeah. very lucky we've got um, Quinn in the studio with us. Um, he's a friend of mine from uh, for some years, a good 20 mm. years, I'd say, at least. It's gone fast. It's gone Stephen. fast. Um, <laughs> and, uh, of course, music's been our thing that's sort of, and, you know, and I think a yeah. general sort of love for humanity in our community. It's a connection, um, eh? A connection yeah. there. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was actually, actually Steve... Um, from the music shop, um, mm. he's um, I see quite a bit of Steve. He's a mm. great guy. Same. Yeah, and uh, got yeah. a lot of time for Steve. And he was mm. saying, "Have you done uh, Quinn yet?" And I said, "No, I don't think I have." <laughs> Sorry, yeah, we better get on Steve. to Quinn. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah. And when I came in this morning, it was quite funny. <laughs> a bit quite funny because uh, I said to Michael, oh, "You'll appreciate this." He said, "Was yeah. Quinn here yet?" And he says, "No." When the Eskimo gets here, he says, <laughs> yeah, <that's the laughs> you one. probably had that one before. Yeah. Well, actually, that's where Dad got my name. Did he? From oh. from Manford Man. Manford Man. Quinn the Eskimo Quinn gets the Eskimo. here. Yeah. Uh, so he was saying, "No, no," and he says, uh, <laughs> uh, "What's was going yeah. on?" And you already was getting to it. it was quite. It was quite good. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's have. Well, while we've got you here, we might as well make the most of your talent, and we'll, yeah. we'll get you to do another number for us. Whoa. On the, okay. On the, on the guitar there. That sounds good. And then we've got um, we've got another track lined up here. Uh, what do you got for us? This is one that uh, is fairly recent. Uh, that I, it hasn't been recorded, so okay, it's a, a new one. It's a new one. Okay. Here you go, <laughs> listeners. This is a yeah. The fatherless, I come to you alone. I come to you, my Jesus, when I'm all alone. Father of the fatherless, to you I sing. I pray hallelujah to Jesus, my sweet King. Father of the fatherless, I love you, Lord. You are my victory song, you are my sword. I love you more than life itself. Your love for me is great. Take me when you need me Mold me, make me Oh, I cry through me Jesus, take me Mold me, Lord Holy Ghost, I give you my soul I never knew that there was such love until your touch from above filled my body, Lord And I know that you are the Father Father of the fatherless When I'm all alone I come 
to you, my Lord. Father of the fatherless, to you I sing. I pray hallelujah to Jesus, my sweet King. Father of the fatherless, your love for me is great. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> so that's a late, that's a fairly late one, that one. Yes, though. that's right. Quite yeah. recent. For our time, yeah. Probably a couple of weeks recent. Cuba, were well, you were, um, let's, um, viewers, you were with the Jam Jar, Stephen Kingsford Brown, and I've got my guest, uh, Quinn, in the studio, Quinn Lockie, with, uh, with me today. Uh, and a big call goes out to Dan Broughton. Actually, Dan, I saw you the other day. It was nice to, well, cause it was in, um, a prob hopefully it would have been in better circumstances, but I hope uh, you fought, uh, you're healing up well. It was, uh, I was there at the hospital. The um, it, it didn't uh, didn't uh, look as though things were too good, but I hope that um, that your foot is uh, healing up really well, mate. And um, mm. we thank you, of course, for um, Dan's our sponsor. Wonderful. Uh, he's okay. he's got um, Warrior for Web Design. Okay. Yeah, a real great little company. And um, if anyone who wants, man, he's they're really onto it. If you want um, any special conceptual stuff, if you're trying yeah. to put yeah. some ideas across. Yes. Um, they'll work with you and come up with a really amazing web design. Wonderful. Um, and they're in Carterton, the main street. Okay. Warrior for okay. web design. That's Dan Broughton. And, and so hmm. big hi to you, mate, out there, and thank hmm. you very much. Um, big hi to the radio station. Thank you very much. Hmm. Um, they, um, Arrow FM, they're pretty good at supporting us. And, yes. And uh, it's great to have such a community um, station. You know, the station yeah. that's doing this, the work, and they're really, it is. They're really good. It is, Gene. Um, Gene in. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to go out on. Um, we've got a, another track here. I think it's called. What was it called? Uh, the next track. I will track. be thankful. Oh, I will be thankful. It might be that one. That's the one. I think it is. Uh, yep, it is track two. I'll just check. I think it's track two from memory. <laughs> track two. Yes, I'm so thankful. That's the one. I'm so thankful. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> well, it's Whoa. better to be so thankful than, exactly. than so miserable. Okay, so, so we'll yeah. play this. Um, That's and great. Thank we'll, you for your We'll go out on this and um, um, and want to thank the listeners for Too tuning right. in there and, and yeah, hope you were um, really, really mm. wrapped that you could come in and share some time with us. Absolutely. And, um, you know, um, in such short notice, too, thank you so much for coming in. Bandits. I'm sure the uh, the listeners they'll be I they'll be love what you're doing out I there so. and um keep doing what you're doing because that's yeah. what it's about yeah too right and we'll we'll catch you <laughs> we'll catch you next time around mate thank you thank you all listeners. right so we're on the road with this track and here we go mm. so that's um I'm a big buy from me and a big buy buy from this lad over here <laughs> nice to have you with us mate Thanks and we'll Stephen. catch you uh, next time around of course. Um, so I better get things right here, otherwise I'll be. <laughs> you want that one there? That's right. So here we go. Well, I'm gone. Jesus Christ.